Wow. Um, I'm I'm looking at the uh, at the monthly charts here that I posted actually below the video here, uh, and and you're probably going to first of all ask why is a scalper looking at a monthly chart, but uh, I tell you I I just had to pull this up tonight and uh, uh, both of of uh, the S and P um, and of uh, of the VIX. And um, normally on a day like this, the, the hits on the blog just go off the scale. So I, I thought I would uh, uh, do a video and, and uh, I, I don't know, talk a little bit, I guess, about, uh, about both short term and, and longer term picture here. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be frank, you know, I, I certainly uh, uh, don't have much to say uh, other than what the pictures show uh, uh, in terms of the long term uh, uh, price action. Um, by my calculation, uh, we have now uh, dropped below the most recent low uh, in, in the market. Uh, I say most recent, uh, back in 2002, uh, October 31st. Um, I show we had a low of around 768 on the S&P. And um, now you've got to go back to uh, April 30th, two, uh, 19, not 2000, 1997. Uh, if, if my, my first look at the charts here are, are right, uh, or, uh, and, and uh, uh, we are now um, uh, slightly above that close um, or that low for the day. But uh, uh, I mean, the, the charts speak for themselves. Uh, we, we continue to, to trade in, um, in virgin territory, at least uh, new territory, by, uh, by now a decade. Um, I, I said, uh, I think, several weeks ago that uh, I, I didn't think we'd ever... Uh, see uh, more markets uh, like we saw well a month or so ago uh, in our lifetime and uh, boy was I wrong um, and and I mean you've got to certainly feel for for the long-term uh, investment community out there at least those who are along the market um, but uh, yeah, again I think the pictures speak for themselves I, I did want to talk a, a little bit about uh, about today's trade you know I mentioned throughout my post today that uh, I, I didn't think I was on my A game and I wasn't um, you know, just some days are like that, and, and I, I think, uh, um, you know, if, if anything, you, you learn over time who you are, and uh, I, I know pretty much who I am. I know what my strengths and weaknesses are. Um, I know when I trade normally well, which is in the morning, and, and if I'm not trading well in the morning, that, uh, that does provide me some sort of a hint that uh, the rest of the day uh, may follow suit. So... I mean, all I could do was was be cautious, keep the size down, and, and not stop trading necessarily, but but keep the risk down. And 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 I didn't trade uh, after that last uh, last post, uh, last comment in the post anyway. Um, even as as the market uh, uh, just continued to tank, and uh, I actually pulled myself away from the market. And uh, I'll tell you, even if I was trading it as much as uh, as there was opportunity there, I you know I, it would have been doubtful that I would have traded it well. So. Um, you know, anytime I, I close the the trade up, you know, three o'clock or so, um, and, and you know, and I made the comment again today that any close sets up the, the morning setup again, any closing trend anyway, and and I mean that's how I really feel, and my goodness, that, that's what happened again. So um, I guess maybe just a reminder that that the only uh, the only chart that really matters is your personal equity chart. Uh, uh, you know, some traders do real well in, in a range. Um, uh, I do uh, fairly well when I'm on my game. That is, uh, uh, in, with a half decent trend, or, or, or uh, more specifically, in the morning after an extreme trend. Um, and, uh, and and you know, you just got to trade accordingly. Um, what 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 might suit others may not suit you, and, and vice versa. Um, you know, I was doing a search in the web the other night. Uh, I'm always interested in who's who's quoting me. <laughs> And I came across uh, a, a trader who, who mentioned that I was uh, I was so stupid for for uh, mentioning something about not trading late on a Friday, uh, and, and he posted some kind of trade he made where he made four or five points, and and hell, I think that's all well and good, uh, great for him. Um, but uh, um, I, I I do believe this this business is about knowing who you are, um, and where I've gotten myself into trouble this year has been trading. Um, in in the last uh, last 30 minutes or so, especially when there's a, uh, a significant trend in play, and uh, you know one of the reasons that that you see some of these tremendous trends is you've got a lot of traders on the wrong side. Uh, 
So, I mean, what what can you say? You know, what what might work for me may not work for others, and and I guess it's it's a good time to stress that for those of you who are looking at the blog, especially the newer people. Um, you know, again, all I'm doing is documenting uh, my journey, and uh, if you can gleam uh, some bits of of, uh, of helpfulness, if you will, from this, then great. Uh, but uh, I've, I've said many, many times, there's so many ways to do this. Uh, there's not the Don Miller way. Uh, the Don Miller way might work for Don, uh, but it may not work for other people. Uh, certainly there are uh, very common threads uh, in terms of, of indicators, in terms of, um, I think, what, what makes this business tick that, that is important and it is common uh, across all traders, all types of traders. And, and that's what I really try to bring out in this. Uh, but in terms of I mean, that little uh, the 2 o'clock uh, uh, trade that I walked through, I mean, probably looks like peanuts compared to what happened at the end of the day. And, and uh, uh, that's probably true. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I think I made a comment here that uh, after I, I made that last close, the market popped 10 points against me. So, again, I looked like a genius, uh, at, you know, at that point in time. And then you look at the, the closing market and, and, and you say, geez, if you had held that short, then you would have been well off and you looked like a fool again. You know, there's no such thing. The, the market is, is a continual uh, ocean, if you will, um, and, and you can decide to play or not play anytime you want. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, again, I, I pretty much know who I am, so um, maybe part of this is, is a little bit of, of self-therapy as I convince myself that I didn't miss any late-day opportunities, and, and maybe it is, but uh, uh, I, and I keep ch staring off, off camera here at, at these monthly charts. I mean, look at that. That, that is incredible. Um, you know, all I can say is, is, is uh, one day we are going to see a mammoth short covering rally. You know, pretend this monthly price chart is a five-minute chart or a 15-minute chart, an hourly chart, okay? If this continues at its current pace, uh, you know, it's going to be zero in about three more bars, which isn't going to happen. Um, but, but I'll leave it to a, a, a much better uh, brain, if you will, um, that I have in terms of trying to figure out the long-term market. Um, I, I'll stick to the short-term stuff. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I, I mentioned a few months ago, I think one of my posts, the, the old Herb Brooks uh, mantra, play your game. Um, and, and that had to do with the 1980 Olympic team, of course. And he was running up and down behind the bench, reminding people to play, the, play their game and not play the, the other team's game. And, and um, I, I, again, kind of going back to... Um, you know, today and, and um, you know, maybe maybe trading in general is, is I think you do have to carve out what you do well. I, I mentioned in, in one of my responses to one of the comments recently about someone who was looking to, to scalp and, and swing simultaneously. And, and my response was something like, you know, I'm not saying it can't be done and I, I wish the person all the best, uh, but, but I know I can't do that. I, I cannot uh, take my brain and split it between um, holding something for a longer period of time or managing something for a longer period of time and managing something for a shorter period of time. I've tried it. I've not been successful. It doesn't work for me. Um, you know, I've tried to trade uh, currencies in the past. It doesn't work for me. Um, I've tried trading the DAX a lot, and, and now I've, I've, I've really started backing away from that more than, than I have in the past, in part because the liquidity has died down like crazy, but in part because it's not my strength. I'm doing a little more, bit more of... of uh, of the euro stocks now and in its place um, you know I, I don't trade well you know late Fridays I don't trade well late late at the end of the day I don't trade well under certain conditions certain patterns um, and you know it's it's I think it's just something you learn um, you know this is a sport you know and anybody who tells you otherwise uh, you know it, it, it's not true <laughs> I mean, you may want to call it a mental sport uh, or, or what have you, but uh, it is a sport and, uh, you know, you've got to be conditioned properly to, uh, to play it. So um, today, you know, my B game, um, probably a C plus actually, but, uh, um, you know, I'll, I'll bank the gain. I, I, I thought I managed fairly well and, and uh, tomorrow ought to be real interesting. Uh, uh, yet another powerful uh, closing trend and normally it, that sets up some... Uh, some chop and it might be some real volatile chop as, as we uh, as we open the market uh, tomorrow so um, anyway some thoughts uh, on a uh, another historic day uh, in a historic uh, fall so um, some thoughts today anyway have a great evening and uh, take care